Howdy Ramboos, uh, so okay, this is the second video I'm doing on alabaster. The first one is in the genealogical uh, playlist. In this one we're going to go over it a little bit more mineralogically, so this is in the mineralogical playlist. Uh, now it is classed as a widespread mineral, but uh, the difference between the gem quality and the mineral quality, it's very much to do with, uh, it's just the aesthetics. So we're going to cover it in, from both aspects, but just remember alabaster can be classed as a, a mineral specimen, or it can be classed as a gem, all depends on the quality. But anyhow, yeah, let's talk about alabaster. Here's artificial jimmy. Alabaster is a variety of gypsum. The best specimens have beautiful bands running across their surfaces and are used as ornamental stones. Alabaster is the fine-grained massive form of the mineral gypsum, which is technically called calcium sulfate, which has been used for hundreds of years to make statues carvings and other forms of ornamentation. It is normally snow white, but can be artificially dyed. If it is heat treated it may be made to resemble marble, which is a crystallized form of calcium carbonate. In some specimens of alabaster the dividing line between mineral and gem quality is very small and determined by the visual appearance, rather than any scientific criterion. The name derives from albos, the Latin word for white. Often the value of a mineral increases in direct proportion to its hardness. Alabaster is an exception to this general rule. It is a form of gypsum, and although gypsum is very soft, scoring only two on the Mohs scale of hardness, the alabaster variety often forms in enormous masses or aggregates which are at the same time highly resilient and easy to carve into decorative shapes. In addition, they are often extremely beautiful. Alabaster is a member of the sulfate group of minerals and is made up of the chemical elements calcium sulfur and oxygen. It is a form of gypsum, but while gypsum has attached molecules of water and forms in monoclinic crystals, alabaster has no crystalline form and appears in amorphous masses. The size of these masses varies greatly from tiny lumps to huge agglomerations, which are suitable for statuary and ornamentation. Although alabaster is very soft, its massive formation often prevents it from crumbling. Its colors and surface patterns are variable, and it has a silky or glassy sheen. Alabaster weighs just over twice as much as the equivalent volume of water at room temperature. Alabaster is a fluorescent mineral and shows a beautiful light blue or orange color under ultraviolet light. These physical attributes make alabaster of great importance to sculptors and ornamental stonemasons. It is unlikely that any piece of alabaster will be commercially valuable in its natural, untreated form. It is the work carried out on the raw material by highly skilled craftsmen, rather than any intrinsic property of the mineral itself that raises some alabaster specimens to gem status. Uses of Alabaster Alabaster is used to make a wide range of ornaments and utensils, these include globes, earrings, vases, cups, bowls, chandeliers and trinket boxes. The value of any of these depends on the skill of the craftsman who carved them. Hey guys, so we've already covered alabaster before, uh, once as a gemstone, this time as a mineral. Uh, but yeah, that's all. Uh, keep it short and sweet this time. We're going to be doing albite next. Uh, so just subscribe and you won't miss any minerals.